Well, hey guys, it's Spiffy Guy, and I'm out here for another around the home video. I want to do a quick update here on the garden. I know I did one just a few, uh, maybe last week or whatever, but I wanted to kind of talk about a specific plant here, and that is this uh, rat's tail radish. You can see that this plant has gotten huge. Uh, I have it tied back, and I originally planted three out of the five squares in the back. I had uh, three squares here, and then uh, the outside edges were um, radish, and just regular radish, you know, the red kind. And uh, this stuff has gone crazy. It's gotten pretty tall, and uh, you can kind of see that it has really bushed out here. And I planted in uh, some squash and um, uh, a melon on the end caps here. You can see a little guy coming up. And uh, this was really shading it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually pulling it out. It is so prolific though that I think one square of this stuff will do all right. And I may actually pull that out. Um, I kind of have a plan. I think uh, that corner over there, I'm gonna put in a little just a uh, little mini kind of bed. Just use uh, some fence pickets as like a single layer of fence pickets. And just to kind of raise it up above the ground a little bit. I'm not going to put any rabbit fencing on it. And I'm going to plant that stuff over there and let it do its thing. Because you can see that uh, the way it works is it creates these little bean-like pods. And uh, most of them are kind of like this. Uh, I'll give you a little closer look. They kind of get this little bulbous kind of look here. And, uh, you know, you just eat them. The, uh, the tips here can get a little tough. So you just clip the tips and uh, clip off the stock and they work great in salads. Uh, they work really well in uh, eggs. I put them in eggs. And uh, for the most part, I just kind of munch on them plain. You can see I got a whole uh, whole little uh, colander here. And that was just randomly pulling some off. There's so many pods in here that, uh, you know, you won't go hungry. This, I think, is a really, really good crop if you like radishes. Uh, it has a, sort of a bean-like texture, uh, the pods do, and there is a little spice. Some of them are not as spicy as others, so I'm not sure uh, what causes, you know, what to be spicy, but I think this is a really, really good plant to grow. It's very prolific, as you can see, and uh, you can buy them at um, Baker Creek uh, Seed Company at rareseeds.com has them, and uh, I'm sure you can find them other places. So I'm gonna end up pulling out uh, like I said, this uh, square here, and uh, unfortunately, it's just too much. I didn't think it was going to get this much. So if you do plant this, once again, suggestion, don't plant it in, in a raised bed scenario like this. Maybe plant it by itself in a different container or in an area where you can expect to have a lot of this foliage. These flowers, uh, you know, are pretty, they, they have a little bit of a lilac smell to me, and they, um, they have a tendency to get all over everything. And so you really need to wash your lettuce or any other food that's going to be underneath there because those flowers really stick to it. So just another little pain in the butt there. But this is an excellent crop and uh, it's doing very well. I just need to make some room because it's shading out some of my other plants. So not what I expected, but definitely worth the trouble. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and just remember that life's an adventure, whether you're on the trail or out in the garden with rat's tail radishes. So go out and have one.